We're farming here in uh, Barry's Cross, Timon County of Exford. I'm farming in partnership with uh, my wife Carmel. Uh, we're farming uh, 90 hectares in total. 50 of it is available on the grazing platform for the cows and the other land then is used for young stock and cutting silage on a small bit of tillage. We start trying off the cows here around the end of October. The first of the cows to calve and maybe the first calf heifers are given those a bit longer, maybe up to three months dry, especially for the first calf heifers. The process of drying off starts with us with, with milk recording. We do 10 milk recordings a year. The only two months we don't do them is December and January because we wouldn't have that many cows at that time of the year. They'd probably be nearly all dry or there wouldn't be that many calves. Well, the milk recording is a huge help because you're getting every cow at an early in the lactation and right through the lactation and into the end of the lactation and you're monitoring their cell count right through the milking year. So that gives us a huge amount of data then at the time of drying off. Well, we started the selective dry cow therapy three years ago. That year we started with just a handful of cows just to kind of see how it went. And then when we got a bit more confidence then we done uh, 25 cows the second year. And last year we done uh, 46 cows. And uh, the criteria we used the first year was any cow under 50,000 just got selective only. Uh, and then the following year then we went to 75 and this year we're going to cows under 100,000 and we'll have up to 100 cows to get selective only. But the other criteria that we do is if they had any case of mastitis during the year to get the antibiotics. We'd be picking out the cows on calving date and when we pick out the 10 cows that were going dry off in particular morning, maybe the, the evening before, we clipped their tails and clipped their elders. But we'd identify which ones were getting sealer only. And then the next morning, then we'd milk the same as normal, wash out the parlor, clean up, go over and get the breakfast, and come back then and dry off the cows. Before drying off, we'd always get myself a, a new milking gown and I'd have that just for, for the drying off process. But I put on two pairs of gloves, so when you're changing cows, then it's not a matter of taking off the glove, or if the glove gets dirty, you can just whip it off. Um, Carmel will usually be with me drying off, and uh, I'd catch a cow's teeth, and she'd hand me the cotton buds and the sealer, and I'd never let go of that cow's teeth until the job is finished. When the cows are dried off, we clearly mark them that we know they're, these are the dry cows, and we'd let them out stand in the yard for maybe an, an hour or so, and then them into a, either a clean straw bedded shed or clean cubicles or outside, whichever weather permitting, but, and, and separate them from the rest of the herd and keep them as far as way as possible from the milking parlour so they don't hear the milking machine going and they forget about milking, they switch off. We've been using sealers for the last 10 or 15 years and last year we uh, switched over to Kepler Lock. With the Kepler Lock it's easier to squeeze the syringe and when you're doing a number of cows, even 10 cows like as 40 tubes have to be squeezed so you know, your hand would get tired if, if it was too hard to, to administer. When you're drying off, be prepared. You know, have the stuff ready. And if you had anybody at all to help you, uh, just hand you the tubes. It, it'd be very beneficial to the whole process and it makes it easier. All this, a little bit of extra work at drying off, like it, it does pay dividends. Like uh, we've picked up a few quality milk awards and sell check awards. Like my father was, was doing what I'm doing 40 years ago, like, and I learned from him. That's the way we do it, and I said it works.